All right, final day of the Rio Olympics, and before they leave, the U.S. men's basketball team are gold. You're indestructible. Always believe in 30-point margin of victory over Serbia, largest in a gold medal game since the Dream Team won by 32 in 1992. Kevin Durant, 30 points. Finishes the Olympics with 155, one shy of his own U.S. record for most points in a single Olympics. All right, so Team USA entered these Olympics as 1 to 20 favorites, meaning a $100 bet would earn you a cool five bucks. <laughs> All right. For the first two games of group play, they certainly looked apart, crushed China by 57, then Venezuela by 44. But that's when things got a little sticky. Final three games of the group, USA beat Australia, Serbia, and France by an average margin of 5.3. All those games coming down to the wire. Now, despite those struggles, U.S. still entered the quarterfinals as 8-1 to one favorites to win gold, and they immediately got back on track. Despite falling behind Argentina in the first quarter, they stormed back for a 27-point win in the quarters, then beat Spain in the semis. It was, it was close, and then blew the doors off Serbia in the gold medal game. They stormed out to a 23-point halftime lead, went on to win by 30. And then they went to the airport. But before they could see wheels go up, this is new on SportsCenter. Mark Schwartz with Carmelo and KD. Third gold medal for Carmelo Anthony. No American male has ever done it. What went through your mind the moment you knew that you had that gold medal, Carmelo? Man, just uh, an, an, an accomplishment. Uh, knowing the journey, you know, the process, the commitment, uh, the loyalty, the honesty that we have to have with, with one another on the, the different teams that I was a part of. Uh, but most importantly, just the commitment. You know what I mean? Like, we had, we had to make a commitment. We had to sacrifice not just our games, basketball players, but our families, uh, leaving our families for a long period of time and, you know, making our, our family understand what, what this is all about. And I, I think for me, that's, that's what I get my joy from. For you, during this six-week run with these guys, what was the highest moment and the most important moment? Well, of course, winning the gold, winning the gold medal. Uh, but most importantly, just the, the journey that we've, we've, taken, we've taken on. Since July 17th, we all committed. We sacrificed something. And we came together and said we was going to do this as one. It's, it's not about one individual. And, and we, we showed that and we proved that. What was it like for you to wrap that flag around you and run around with the American flag and hear the national anthem? It's nothing like it. Uh, if, you, if you haven't been in this situation before, if you haven't had this experience, it's nothing like it. And as you can see, I, I got my compadres right here He's behind me. He's coming back in 2020, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why are, KD, wh what was it like to win this thing, you know, and to wrap that flag around you? Oh, well, that's the main goal. When we first got together in July, we wanted to do exactly what we did tonight. And uh, to do it with a group of guys that I love, called brothers for the rest of my life, uh, we're bonded forever. It was, it was even better going, doing it with this group. So now it's time to... Relax and get ready for the show. How different was it for you to win this one than in London? Oh, I felt the same, you know, and that feeling never gets old. You know, it was, you know, as that clock was going down, I was just getting excited to be a, a gold medalist. See you later, What's it going to be like to be Draymond Green's teammate? Don't worry about that right now. We gold medalists right now. <laughs> Back to Sports Center with the gold medal U.S. men's basketball champs. The Galeao Airport. I hope uh, Mark Schwartz brought his passport documents. I'm just excited that Draymond Green avoided kicking anyone in the groin. 30 points for uh, Kevin Durant. He was great. The field goal percentage right there. He was the big star as many expected in a summer which started with him making the move sure. to the uh, Golden State Warriors. But now he is gold. For more on KD, the Olympics, Rio, it's Mark Stein. My big takeaway from these three weeks in Rio, I actually take it from Luis Scola, the Argentinian sage big man. Scola has seen it all in international ball, and he told me early in this tournament, even after all these years, in Scola's view, it's still up to the U.S. how vulnerable Team USA actually is. When they are locked in, when they're in the mood, when they are flying around defensively, when Kevin Durant, most of all, decides to turn the Rio Olympics into a video game, there is still nothing that the rest of the world can do. More than two decades 
after NBA pros were first admitted to the Olympic Games. And when you looked at Durant specifically against Serbia, how comfortable he was in a game that frankly didn't start out great. It just let you know, sent the message that as intensely as that microscope will be trained on him this season with the Golden State Warriors, Durant looks ready for all that scrutiny right now. All right, here's a look at some uh, tweets that came in. LeBron James, many thought he would be part of this crew, decided to sit this one out. He said, SO shout out to the USA basketball men's national team on nearing their hashtag gold standard. USA strive for greatness. Kobe Bryant, many times an Olympian, many times a gold medalist. Coach K, thank you with your leadership. We learned that playing for the U.S. is greater than playing for us. That's right. It's the name on the front of the jersey. It's all of our gold medal, Doug. Steph Curry, maybe we'll see him in 2020 Tokyo. Congrats to USA Basketball taking care of business, getting the gold. Go down the line. They all put in the sacrifice and work to get it done, and the gap between the U.S. and the rest of the world remains pretty substantial. Serbia won an NBA player on that team, and they got the doors blown off. The U and some issues for USA, but they came out smelling we like a rose. forget how awesome it is for these guys. We expected it. They were 1-20 to 20 favorites we touched on earlier. And uh, they had close finishes there in the, during the, some of those games. Probably served them well. They just won a gold medal. We saw the camaraderie, the photo bombing of Durant, Draymond Green with Carmelo. It's got to be a memorable experience. And even DeAndre Jordan said he values the gold medal more than he does an NBA championship. Well, well not only that, after a long NBA season, you wonder, and we, some of the golfers remember, Roy Mackerel, they didn't want any part of these Olympics. They said there was Zika. We don't know if there's something more. But these guys, after that long season, this is, this is work. It's fun, and, and, but and it's hard a, work to prepare for that. And they did it without any complaints. And they, and they had, had so much fun with the photo bombing. As we saw, exactly. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Last Olympics, we debated whether that team was better than the original dream team. This one, we were talking maybe they weren't constructed properly. We heard from Charles Barkley saying too many guys who need the ball, not the best team per se, more of a collection of talent. Doesn't matter. They won gold. There's only one dream team.